welcome back to ten slide info looks like a lot of good news is coming recently related to indian navy as per the defense sources the national security adviser ajit doval is expected to commission india's first satellite and ballistic missile tracking ship which is ins dhruv and this is going to happen on september 10 2021 This nuclear missile tracking ship was built by Hindustan Shipyard Limited and will be manned by Indian Navy personnel along with the Strategic Forces Command. This ship was built in collaboration with DRDO and National Technical Research Organization. Not many countries have such ships in their fleet. After India, such ships are operated by France, the United States, the United Kingdom, Russia and China. The purpose of this ship is to support the development of India's strategic weapons and the Indian ballistic missile defense program. The ship can also track strategic missiles and satellites. It also has the capability to map ocean beds for research and detection of enemy submarines. INS Dhruv was built with a huge budget of 1500 crores approximately and it has a displacement of 15000 tons. a length of 175 meters a beam of 22 meters and a draft of 6 meters INS Dhruv is powered using two 9000 kilowatt combined diesel and diesel configuration engines and three 1200 kilowatts auxiliary generators INS Dhruv can travel at a speed of 21 knots this ship is equipped with state of art active scanned array radar which is developed by DRDO and this radar has the ability to scan various spectrums to monitor the spy satellites as well as monitor missile tests in the entire region in addition it has a long open deck with ample space for installing multiple missile tracking antennas it will have a crew complement of 300 personnel and it will carry a single helicopter in the deck INS Dhruv will also have a special team from the National Technical Research Organization on board. So let's expect INS Dhruv to help the Indian Navy to perform better military operations in the Indian Ocean in all three dimensions which is subsurface, surface and aerial. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to Tenslade Info for more defense and aviation related updates. Thank you.